This creates the culture of commitment. What's the opposite of a culture of commitment? Some of you have been through this. What is it? Culture of fear. Culture of fear-based culture of compliance. The cultural continuum. We have cultures of commitment. And we have cultures of compliance. And cultures of compliance, they are fear-based. They have policies and procedures and are driven to compliance. And politics are prevalent. In cultures of commitment, they are values-based. They too have policies and procedures. And they are not politically based, but rather principle-centered decisions. Now, no matter what you think of our organization, wherever you put us on this continuum, there is always room for improvement. It's a sign of infinity. It's a spectrum. It's a continuum. It goes on. I'd like to move this fulcrum to the left and tilt it to the right. I'd like for us to become values-based. I'd like for us to understand the rules of policies and procedures. You want policies and procedures? U.S. Army, folks, 200 years of it. Volume after volume after volume. In function of the first volume says, these are but guidelines that do not replace the judgment of the commander. Keep that in mind. That's the role of policies and procedures in cultures of commitment.